Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations. I am just hiding stuff at this point. Um, I was supposed to be organizing it, but I'm going to get right into crafting. So, oops, here we are. Okay. I'm pulling over. Hey Julie, hey Rebel. <laughs> hey Metatron. Ooh, I hope he's doing good. <laughs> Is there Ron right here? Yeah. But we're good now. Um, let me get this pulled off. Pulled up. How do I how do I even find my own streams, you guys? Like seriously. There we go. Let's keep the sound turned down. No, not the power button. It's the wrong button. Oh, the volume's lower. Never mind. Hey Eve. <laughs> um, in today's in today's stream, in today's craft along with Vaughn, that's me. Um, we are going to be refurbishing this fairy house. I don't know if y'all remember, but this is the fairy house that was from like my fairy house disaster video because I'd like burnt it. Um while being baked and you can see it held up perfectly fine it's been in the garden ever since then like this was not a paint job this is real life moss growing on my fairy house um it spent last winter actually frozen in a um i call it a fairy garden it's really the bottom half of the trash can that i cut up and put some rocks and plants in and water and it's a fairy garden now um so but uh, we're going to be doing this without baking and well, without baking this part and with the intent of it going right back outside. It used to have all sorts of, like different little mushrooms and stuff around it, um, but the, the, it was small enough that the chickens would like kick it around the yard. Um, so I need to make I, I've lost the top of it. Well, OK, I have it, but it had been lost for a while and then I found it after it had been eaten by a weed whacker so it's dead it's gone uh so we need to make a new top and new roof new landscaping we're gonna we're gonna fix this up but oh my god guys look at that moss that moss is life oh my god like literally it's life um but no so I'm not gonna be cleaning this up at all and I don't want to be doing anything to it that um might upset the moss. Hey Mary Hart, hey Stephanie, hey Aubrey, hey Suzanne, hey Sabrina. Okay, um, so right off the bat, just like how y'all are doing with the at Yvonne Williams that highlights my name, it comes in so helpful. So thank you guys for doing that. And um, it just helps me to know uh, when you guys are talking to me. Like you can see here on my chat, a little big dumb head. Um, well, it's blurry, but see how it highlights it? Oh my gosh, that helps so much. And that way I know when you guys are talking to me. <laughs> so getting this up into our tripod. We're getting right to work today. Oh, well, thanks and sorry. I actually shot like a 45 minute video about me. Put, like I was putting on my makeup and just kind of chatting. Um, and I don't know if I should post that to my vlog or if I should edit it down or if I should just bury it in the backyard. Like I'm not entirely certain. So, we're going to start by making some mushrooms. Hey, Propool. This weather is awesome. Man, like, I, I've never in our time of living here in Missouri, it's never been this cool in May. Like, seriously. <laughs> hey, Jim. I just saw that you had posted a, uh, a garden update. I can't wait to go watch it. Let me grab some clay. And... The camera with us because I want you all to see how we organize our clay because boom this little craftsman cart is like the best cart it holds so much clay and I get these for like three for a dollar and they stack so I can fit a ton of clay and they also hold my alcohol inks pretty well but it keeps the dirt off so let's see I think I want to start with a light color and then darken it down but I don't really seem to have a whole lot. I've got a whole lot of like raw sienna. There's some copper. There's some silver. There's some granite. Yeah, let's just use good old fashioned plain white Sculpey. Ooh, while we're over here though, I am going to pull out 
my chalk pastels. Well, those don't really hold up their color. We'll use mica pigments. Yeah, something I found with the chalk pastels, because I had used orange chalk pastel, if you guys remember, um, on this one, and it sun bleached out. So I'm going to use Pearl X pigments this time, because I think they'll hold up a little bit better. And I have like a matte brown in there that I think will work. Should hopefully work. Hey, Patricia. This is really so weird one minute. It's normal, but a little chilly in the next thunder and pouring down rain. Huh. And then stopped and it was normal again. <laughs> right on. Okay, so we have our clay. I'm gonna start by making the little um bottom parts. And to do that, I'm gonna need oh crap, I didn't think of that. Tripods in the way. I'm gonna pull out my couple of tools. We have a wire brush. We have these guys. We've got this pokey thing. Okay, that should do us. Oh, and some dotting tools. Okay. So we have our tools laid out. Scooch the tripod back over. And I'm just going to break off. This clay doesn't need rolled through the pasta machine. It actually gets gunked up and stuck in my pasta machine. So I'm just going to break off some little segments. Hey, Dante. Holy crap. How have you been, man? <laughs> yeah, shout out to everybody if, if this is your first time joining us or if you're one of our beloved lurkers. Yeah, hey, Rachel. Dante, we've been doing really well. I hope you're holding up well in these very interesting times we live in. Kizzy says, sitting in my garden watching you enjoying the evening sun. Oh, Kizzy, that sounds lovely. We are, Alyssa. We are remodeling this bad boy. <laughs> hey, Mama Salty. Just trying to survive quarantine. Amen. Okay, so I'm just rolling it out. And I have to try really hard, actually, to not overwork this white clay. It actually is helping that. This is just plain Sculpey. It's original Sculpey. It's the white stuff. Hey, Joshua, how's it going? Greetings from Germany. Hello. <laughs> okay. So... Rolling this out, and I don't know what's been up, but it just feels like I've got a bucket of dog hairs up my nose today. So splitting that in half. You had one you built that inspired you to want to build a little town. I'm still right there. This is actually the the fairy house from my um, fairy house disaster video. <laughs> um, yeah, I th man, it's been a minute. That's a nice thing about this polymer clay, though, is there's no drying time, so you don't really have to worry about it drying out on you, and you can smush it back together and mess up, and it just as much as you want. Okay. Lurker here, also in Utah. Right on! Hey, Lydia! Oh, I got your, e I got your message on Patreon. Um, but that was like right before the stream started, so I'll be sending you your link. You can go to our website, um, and just click on shop and then auction tab, and it'll take you where you want to go, though, I think. Yep. Yeah, the little, our tablet holder, which is game-changing, honestly. Like, I really, really like it. And I'm just building out a little bit of a fringe that I'm now going to smish smoosh. So I was in the backyard yesterday and one of our neighbor's houses is up for rent and there were people looking at it and I don't think they saw me in the backyard but they were like I don't want to live here that house looks haunted. And I was like my house? And I looked at it and I was like okay yeah, that's fair it definitely looks like a witch lives here. <laughs> Oh, 
and I was just, you know, dressed, actually, I think I was wearing the same outfit, because I'm a gremlin, um, <laughs> no, this is not working the way I wanted, um, I was just barefoot in the backyard, <laughs> digging in my dirt, um, <laughs> so, that's how you cackle, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna do the cute little flanges on these ones today, you guys, I'm having some real trouble with that, so I'm gonna, Stick maybe a little bit more into a comfort zone and just make some chonky little mushrooms. Let's see if we can't get the tripod twisted around a little bit better so that maybe you can see. <laughs> there are actually, we were digging a hole and we found like mm. some quartz crystals and stuff. And I was like, wow, this is, how did this get here? Like I genuinely had forgotten I'd buried it like seven years ago. And Randy was like, you, you buried it here. <laughs> seven years ago. Hey, Daniel. So spreading out the wires on this. I'm going to angle this down just a little bit more. Diggy, diggy hole, diggy, diggy hole. I am a dork and I'm digging a hole. Are you going to bake them separately then glue them on? Um, I'm, I'm baking the stems first and then whenever I make the caps, I'm going to like use a little bit of liquid poly clay and set the cap on there and that way it'll it'll form a little better I think <laughs> paper says not seen sculpey in the UK hmm uh Cernet or Cato or uh mm, what's the other one Fimo also all work really well um I just I like the sculpey for this because it is inexpensive um and so long as it's not structural and if you're making it like dummy thick like this um i meant when you attach them to the fairies oh yeah attaching to the fairy house i am using epoxy sculpt which is uh it takes like 24 hours to cure fully um and then i'll be like painting it and stuff though i think i might actually paint it before it's fully cured But that's what I'm going to be using because I've tried hot glue and stuff in the past and that just doesn't work out very well. Okay, if I were... There's my paintbrushes. I've been trying to reorganize this house. And it just seems like the more I organize, the more there is stuff to be organized. So... Messy little... I have your slippers made. Oh, pink cut! Oh, well, thank you. That's very generous and kind of you. Okay, the color that we're using, it says Sunset Gold. But I tell you what. Oh, that is Sunset Gold. I was like, it looks brown <laughs> from the outside. Well, shoot, I hope that wasn't the matte brown that I thought I've had for ages. What's this one? The Antique Bronze. Uh-oh. It might have to be a very shiny. What's this one? Antique Silver. What's this one? Antique copper. Rummage, rummage, rummage. Um, you know, we might just end up having some sparkly, shiny mushrooms. Are you? Nope. Well, I do have a black though. We'll use the black. What up, baby? Oh, they're the they're regulators? Yeah, I think I might just use this sunset gold, too. Or antique bronze. I don't know. Carbon black. Yeah, babe? I would think so. Hmm. So I'm going to add a um, piece of eyeshadow. I can, Mary. Um, the problem with those things, though, in the past, like, I had used some... Uh, chalk pastel on this so i've had similar results on a different fairy house where i had used eyeshadow and the the pigment completely went out of it um so that's why i'm using color fast uh prolex pigments but um if it's something that's going to be indoors yeah eyeshadow works great um
And I'm just starting from the butt. The little booty. Little fungus booty. Darkening down. Tomorrow is my 40-10th birthday. <laughs> also my 3th anniversary of watching you. Oh, happy early birthday, Samantha, and happy anniversary to us. Oh, we should we should do something. Let's set something on fire. My allergies have been killing me today. Actually, my allergies have been killing me like all week. Mm -hmm. I miss I feel like your pain with organizing, right, Sparky? Mm. <laughs> well, I mean, any excuse to get a bonfire going. Oh, I do like that little bit of metallic sheen. How did your new kiln heat up the other day? Oh my gosh, Teresa, it went amazingly. Since there's no carbon uh, fiber in it, or it's all um, like bricks there wasn't any smoking or like funny smells the way that there was with my paragon xl the the new kiln big blue <laughs> the other big blue has now been called little blue um so everything's relative i suppose <laughs> uh it, it went phenomenally we've on our third batch yeah i'll be taking the third batch of uh of glass out of the kiln probably in today's stream once it's cool enough So just a little bit, little bit of this carbon black goes a long way. So I like to kind of dip in and then tap it off. And we could use acrylic paints too, but well, geez, why are we? I have no idea what that man is doing. I don't think he meant to slam the door, though. You okay? Oh, yeah. oh smashing ice. Okay, it just the door slammed, and then I heard thudding, and I was like, is he murdering? A little bit. A little, little bit. Bag yeah. Um, what is this melted gnome of which Jim speaks? Oh, I don't know. This is the gnome, the gnome home that I melted, Jim. <laughs> the dragon eyes not look up thing. Oh, Tracy. They're, they're, your dragon eyes are better than mine because they're yours. And nobody can make your dragon eyes like you can. Like, a flower doesn't compare itself to the other flowers around it. It just blooms. So go forth and bloom. <laughs> Should have streamed Big Blue. I think the Patreon stream showed it. Oh, yeah. Wait, well, let's, let's get some mushroom bases going. And then, so there's one. And I want to kind of think about how we'll be attaching them. That way we can go ahead and curve it a bit. Yeah. Like just a, just a little bit. Okay, so this one, um, you can't tell because it's aged, but it had burnt in this part, like melted down. Um, no, it's this is this has been rotting in my yard for like three years. Like it used to have all those little mushrooms on it. A lot of the mushrooms had burnt. This was one that I put moss on and then baked. <laughs> like actual <gasps> is that coffee? Can I have a kiss? Uh. Give me. <laughs> I love you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Thank you. You did love me because I bring you coffee. I'm not gonna lie to you, there's one of the many reasons why I love you, beautiful man that lives in my house. Um oh so good. Ouch, that's hot. <laughs> My tongue. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so we made one little one little mushroom. I kind of want to make some morels. Oh, that looks so cute. Mm. Yeah, but it was it was the putting the moss on it that made like actual flame happen and discolored some of the stuff. So I was like, oh no, I failed. And that was back whenever I had like standards and expectations about my work. Whereas now I'm like, ha, it has character. Look at that awesome burnt effect. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> hey, Holly, how's it going? Oh, you haven't missed too much. We're making little mushroom butts for... Uh, for a fairy house. I think I'm actually going to leave it right here. That way y'all can still kind of see it. 
I am a dork and I'm sculpting a home. Sculpty, sculpty home. Oh, I'm gonna make it like a little fat one. Yo, he's so chubby. It survived a forest fire, right? Hashtag cob houses for the win. Wow, making it late into the day. I didn't have my first cup of coffee today, Mary, until like uh, noon, but I also didn't get out of bed till like 11. We were supposed to get up at 8, but we had been so busy this past week. Like, we were just dead tired and exhausted, like twice, two nights. We, we got like 12 hours of sleep, and I finally feel like well rested. So, like 100%, we, we feel like... Uh, we need to sleep if our bodies are like super tired and we need to sleep we just sleep <laughs> i'm ahead of y'all <laughs> it says pink cut are you remaking the whole fairy house or just some parts just some parts we're doing a fixer upper remodel <laughs> on um on this fairy house so it needs a new roof and new landscaping so i'm getting these guys baked first the little Mushroom booties. Stems? I don't know. I don't know the anatomical... Is it still anatomical? Like, is it the anatomy of a plant? Do they use... Or do they have a different term since it's a plant and not, like, an animal? I don't know. Like no, like, uh... Like, um... Hey, words. Why are there so many words? Oop. Smush that guy right there. I know he's a little too thick. Do it. Bot nautical? What's that? Maybe make giant shroom coming out the top like it's grown through the floor to reflect the age. Ooh! Now I did want to leave this one open so that we could put um, a fairy light in it, but I kind of really like the idea of this one had a mushroom cap at one point because um, this was supposed to be like the little flangey part like how this mushroom is, but then it drooped. Um, so I really like plantatonical. Yeah, the stem. <laughs> the physiology of a plant. Huh? <laughs> but yeah, the little mushroom stems. Yeah. Well, I, I, I was thinking about installing like some magnets so that the, because I have some rare earth magnets, um, compliments to Judy actually, uh, that I can epoxy sculpt in that will keep the lid on but still make it like removable. So there's another one. I'm not going to put the caps on these. Huh? Fungatomical? Is that really what it's called? Plantarific. Hey, magic. <laughs> Do you know when you'll be able to get Maddie in the other news for the summer? We will actually be getting Maddie. Um, we'll be coming home on the soon. Like, I think it's like we're doing a turn and burn and meeting her mom at like a half point, halfway point somewhere. We're not certain yet. Um, and then bringing her home. Um... On, what is it, the 28th? Uh, the back, yeah, it's it's the day before the live stream. That's the only thing that we remember because it's like, oh, God, we are so crunched for time. Or uh, the auction live stream. Are you still able to put just the hidden objects, bracelet links for Dragon Eye bracelets? I can't find any. Um. Oh, I don't know, Darlene. That would be like from Michael's, right? Oh, God, oh, gee. When he says it's just anatomical, we're just making up words. Just oh, Okay. <laughs> You know, technically, all words are made up. I'm just saying. <laughs> so it's never too early or too late. Diggy, diggy, ho. Oh, these are flying by now. Just look at there. Um, I make all my fairy houses out of recycled materials and paper mache clay. Ooh, right on. It, do, are those for indoor or outdoor use, though? Like, I've always wanted to do, like, how um, Crafty Mom 
and do uh, do with like the paper mache clay and stuff, but I just didn't know how it would hold up to being outside. Yeah. Mushroom stem is a stipe. Ooh, we're learning today. I think in a different life I could have been very happy as a biologist. Or something something majoring in like botanicals or something. I don't know. Like but so instead I'm just a gardener. I've just been curious about the clay. Does it get brittle over time? Um it depends. Like this one fell onto some rocks and a chunk popped off. It, it's not as bad. Like this is me. It's pretty durable. <laughs> right, Daniel? <laughs> a hedge witch. <laughs> you could probably do clay and then seal it. That's a good idea. Can't find them anywhere. Oh no, Darlene. <laughs> Are you saying that? Yeah. Oh my god. I don't know if y'all could hear Randy. He said today's live stream is so uh is so educational today. We usually just talk about the poo poo pee pee man. And honestly, I can't even really argue with Randy. That's a true story. <laughs> right? The cap is the pleas and the gills are the lamea. Lame? Is it lame or lamea? I don't know. Latin. I'm still just going to call it cap, gills, and stem, though. Show armpits. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> Learn along and chat with Vaughn. Oh, I like that magic. Though I'd hate to uh, mislead people because sometimes we are not, most of the time, actually. We are not this. Oh, I love the round little butts when they do that. Sculpty sculpty shroom. My favorite thing about sculpting mushroom butts is even though when my hands get all like goopy and weird from the clay and everything, it's like, I, I don't know. They look very organic and it doesn't matter if I leave dirty fingerprints on them from the other stems because then it just makes it look like it grew out of the dirt. It's like perfect. And I just like doing a little bit of black down at the base. Adds that nice little bit of antiquing. I have no idea how many mushrooms I'm going to need, so I'm going to make more. <laughs> more! Um, should totally put a tiny butt crack at the base. Oh, <laughs> that would be cute, mistress. Little, little butt shrooms. <laughs> the Amanita mushroom is the original forbidden candy. <laughs> That's... <laughs> oh, no. I listened to a lot of Disco World audiobooks and suddenly went to listen to The Feet of Clay. Hmm. I've never, I've never read or heard of that paper. Have you tried to make a morel mushroom out of clay? I haven't, Teresa, but today is the day. I'm going to try. Because one of y'all generous, talented people sent me some beautiful little sculpted morels. And I want to, like, I want to, I want to include that in today's mushroom. I need some. I don't know if I need bigger mushrooms or little mushrooms. Um, have you ever used the polymer from gray clay? I ordered it to try and do some wood bumps. See how it turns out. I want to make one for you to go to your fairy house. I've never tried that, Lydia. You never too many shrooms, right, Aubrey? And that's I figure if I've got like just a bunch extra, then we'll just have a bunch extra. <laughs> I wanted to do this out of glow in the dark clay, but I am all out. You know, my granddaughter has two pieces of advice for you. One, be careful because some mushroom are poisonous. And two, you can lose life in your game. The game is over. <laughs> She's, that's very true. Actually, I don't really eat a whole lot of mushrooms. Like, I'll eat button mushrooms sometimes. 
but Randy doesn't really care for mushrooms at all. Like, he hates them, actually. So I don't do a whole lot of cooking with mushrooms. The one time I grew oyster mushrooms, but, like, I, I never would... I'm far too ignorant uh, in my current stage to... Um, they grew in my house. I claimed that. Okay. And then I did break it apart and spread the, the I don't know, mushroom seed spores? the spores yes um and grew it remember in all like the uh pine shavings and stuff How'd that work out? really well i had so many mushrooms i couldn't eat them all do you remember yeah it was in front of the air conditioner remember we had them in like milk crates i do well And I was cooking oyster mushrooms like three or four times a day. <laughs> like, be like, what? Yep. <laughs> okay, that one's looking a little sooty. So if you get too much, Oop. serve his up first and add shrooms to yours. Yeah, it's most of it's just been whenever we buy, like to grow mushrooms, we had way too many in the house for one person. Oh, I'm going to put a little twist in all of these. I like that. Um... Yeah, we just had too much for one person to eat up on their own. So, um, and then to buy them, oftentimes they'll go bad before I can eat them up. So, with Maddie in the house, she likes mushrooms, so we'll probably... That might be really fun, Randy. We could grow mushrooms. Oh my god. What? I know there's quarantine and we can't do anything that we did last summer, but I think we've got enough projects lined up. Probably. Um, how would you suggest for a person to start making fairy houses? Um, the best thing that I could recommend for getting into making fairy houses would be to start with making the doors. Um, cause then you could take anything and just prop a little fairy door up against it. Um, or, and then maybe make like a mushroom like this, but like maybe a little bit bigger, like a little flower pot and make like a mushroom cap on it and put a fairy door on it. And a lot of stuff is to just start with what you feel like would be achievable. And then whenever you sculpt the door, you can always adhere that to a bigger project. But just start with, start with making the part that interests you. Like if you want to make the mushrooms or the doors or um, practice making like little steps like you could make a bunch of little weird pieces and then start to just smush them together and the mailman's here please pardon us while the dogs harass the mailman calm down puppy Nice person brings us our mail every day, and all you do is yell at him. <laughs> man, man. Step one, buy clay. And you could make it out of... Shoot, you've got Play-Doh to sit down and play with your kids, or play, play with yourself, and make some stuff out of Play-Doh. Oh, they brought our totes back. They did. Very nice. My dad and my sister hunted more on mushrooms when I was a kid. I really like them. They've been hunted here in Ohio until they're almost gone. Really? Goodness. Oh, the game is trash. <gasps> I love trash. Lowe's trash. Nope. Uh, Walmart. Nice. Oh, um, they, they truly are trash. They knotted the bags and then ripped into the sides of them. Nice. Okay, so the ones that are like this are going to be the more all mushroom stems. Hey, Sam boy. I love you, puppy. Why well, you always got bark at the mailman for? That's so loud. Can you like whisper bark at him? You, you, you. He's like, Mama, I don't speak English. You're wasting your breath. I live to work. What's up, love? How is everything we're ordering coming in packaging? I don't know. Did something arrive? They gave us a box of packing peanuts. <gasps> Baby, that's my blast shield. Ooh. <laughs> Will you put it over by my torch, please? 
Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to drink some more coffee. Mm. Oh, it's finally good drinking temperature. Sometimes I just want to sit here and like blow bubbles in my coffee. Because like the phone's like right here and my face is like right here next to it. So I can like get in super close and kind of like... Wait, this isn't even the microphone end. That's this end. Hee hee hee. Okay, so I feel less self-conscious about making gurgly coffee noises than you guys do. <laughs> hey, Cynthia. Oh, how's it going? Uh, fairy houses. Yeah. Hey, Shepherdess. They ain't go open the shop doors. Can't turn the open signs on, though. Oh, really? Down all the coffee while it's drinkable. Uh, could you use a jar and make a screw-off lid for the fairy house? Yes, we have done that in the past. For this one in particular, um, I was using just like a tea light holder that was like 50 cents. Um, and so it doesn't have that option. But I am going to try to sneak in some magnets. That way the top will hold on. Hey, Ashley, how's it going? I'm crippling myself in the garden. What are you doing, Cynthia? Take care of yourself. You're the only one of you we've got. Hey, Sue in the UK. How's everybody else's May going? Like, for, for those of us who are experiencing um, coming into summer, like, this has been really cold. Like, I mean, I'm not complaining, but we actually had to turn the heater on the best way to attach external bits to clay figures horns arms etc and anyone else who might know um if you're able to plan ahead i'd break it with like armature into it um otherwise super glue works really well also i'm a huge fan of epoxy sculpt 100 percent. this stuff sticks to darn near everything um even if it's non-porous so Magic says, very abnormal weather. It's messing with my peppers and tomatoes. Same. My peppers are suffering. Like, I, I, I doubt I'm going to have any kind of pepper crop this year. But I have never had a better year for our coal crops. Like, um, all of our cabbages are doing phenomenally. Uh, our lettuces, spinach, uh, Brussels sprout, like, all of it are peas. Usually at this point of the year, the heat has killed the peas off. And they're still just growing along. So... Are the green stripes the colors of the roof part also moss that started growing on it? That was moss that grew on it. Like, straight up. Oh my gosh, Inger says it finally seems like it stopped snowing. We had snow three or four days last week. Oof. We had 105 degree weather yesterday here in Clovis, New Mexico. See, that sounds more like normal. <laughs> I'm bored out of my tree now that can at least order craft stuff online. The weather's been fairly mild in the UK. Right on. I've gotten a bit antsy sometimes, but for the most part, um, I haven't been too, like, cabin feverish. I mostly miss, miss our friends, like, the convention circuit and getting to see people. And But I'm not going to lie to you guys, being able to do our live streams uh, has really, really kept a sense of normalcy in our household. Here in Utah, we shouldn't put our garden until after Memorial Day to it. That it might snow or freeze. Goodness. What gardening zone are you in? If you know. Because we're in 6B here. We used to, when you lived in Tennessee, we're in 7B. And I kind of miss that because the gladiole would... Here, sometimes they come back, like, if I mulch thick enough. And if we have a mild enough winter. But in Tennessee, they always came back. And those are one of Randy and I's favorite flowers to have out in the garden. They're so pretty. Our AC keeps freezing, so in there warm days, it can get up to over 80 degrees. Just a few more weeks in this apartment. Oh, Mandy, that's rough. <laughs> For like three years, Randy and I lived in an apartment that um nothing got fixed ever. So it's I feel you. Pinkut said it won't stop raining long enough to get the garden in. I remember when our toilet stopped working. Mm-hmm. In the air conditioner. Air conditioner and she came in, she had the guy come in with a hair dryer 
and defrost the fridge and then was like, okay, you still have to pay your rent. And I was like, this is all bullshit. And I was like, okay, fine. And the next week it broke again. Yep. So I was like, I'm going to do it. So she got us a brand new fridge and we fixed the air conditioning. Yeah. I don't know if they can hear you, honey. Can you all hear Randy okay? Right, Lydia? It's actually been in, like, the low 60s, at least inside the house, which is, uh, I'd prefer that. Okay, I think I, I think I have enough mushrooms. So, just, he's a little quiet. Okay, so this just happened. Went to make my cup of coffee and overfilled my coffee machine, went to the coffee, came out, okay. Oh, no! Oh, no, Tracy! <laughs> Yeah, they they can't hardly hear you, babe. Okay. Well, you, can story. you said a whole bunch. <laughs> I don't know if I can repeat it verbatim. Hit 50 degrees and up during the day, but at least five nights out of the week we had a small space heater on. Yeah, never have we had a hell winter like this. Goodness, Pam. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to take this to the toaster. Toaster oven. And then I'll be right back. I'm only going to bake this for like 15 minutes. But we can start with the caps. Do you want to bring them in? Do you want to retell your story? I don't remember what story it was. Mandy's apartment, they're having similar issues as to what we had had. Okay. This in here. And then coming around here. Ooh, night blooming flowers are awesome. So this is Big Blue, you guys. Say hello, Big Blue. Um, and that's our fusing kiln. She goes up to, I think, 2,500 degrees is her max. And this is Little Blue. She only goes up to 1,500 is her max. But that's specifically for, we use her for annealing beads. And we use this one for fusing. So. Okay. Uh, let's open this up. Oh, filling up, up more like that, Randy, was much nice. better. Yes. Much better results. Okay. Um, these are still quite warm, though. So they're still at, like, around 100 degrees. So I'm going to let them air cool the rest of the way. Just as I bought a house last fall and I'm trying to grow a garden for the first time. Of course, it's during crazy weather and I can't figure out what to grow. I won't kill. I'm going to recommend to you mint. <laughs> It's hard to kill mint. It is really hard to kill mint. And a lot of people are like, oh, it'll take over my flower beds. And I'm like, good. <laughs> because I would rather be pulling up mint than crabgrass or any of these other weeds that are a lot more difficult and a lot less nice smelling. Hey, pretty kitty. What you up to, girl? I love you. Okay. So, Ember, I'm going to have to move you, baby. I'll just move the whole chair, though. That's how much I love you. Quick glare. <laughs> so these are our second batch. And these two I think I'm actually going to refuse because I didn't put enough glass in the mold. Um, so you can see, oops, that's what they look like. It's still radiating a bit of heat, but that's what they look like when we fill it up all the way. So, I'm really pleased with that. But yeah, we have little fused 
glass cabs. That I know they have bubbles, but I actually really like that. <laughs> well, the reason they have bubbles is because of the frit. frit. Yeah. But yeah, in a, after we next time we go to the toaster oven, we'll um. Yeah. Now, granted, we only ran the kiln last month. That's how many days we had it turned on. Um, but we didn't run the air conditioner at all. So the electric bill was the same as what it would have been if we didn't have the kiln that had been running the air. So like it's the same as what it was for April last year. Um, but uh, we're expecting, like we're budgeting for it to increase by two to three hundred dollars um, a month by having the two kilns and being in full production for Patreon craft kits and all of that stuff. So um, the pros and cons for using a toaster oven, the pro is that you can have a toaster oven specifically for just polymer clay. Um, the con is, and there are more, but these are the, the two main ones, is you've got it exclusively so you don't have to worry about if you burn your polymer clay, it won't leave like any harmful residues that you're then cooking your food in um the to me the main con is that it is um small thank you randy it, you can't fit very huge projects in it i've never worried too much about the heat um so um we just like uh, I, I don't really worry about like the fumes and stuff, so we just put it into a regular oven when we have a big piece. Yes, I love lemon balm, chocolate mint. There's so many different kinds of mint. I like using it as an underplanting, actually, like as a ground cover, because pollinators love it too. Mm. Um. I don't know if you can use solar for the fans. Um, I don't know either. It's we that's something that we won't be able to really test out in this house uh with the solar panels and stuff but i am very interested in um being able to charge up the batteries and stuff but it they do draw quite a bit of uh power what are we crafting today hey crystal we are renovating this fairy house we just made a whole bunch of stem bases and now I'm going to start working on the roof. Which I think. Hey, Maria in Scotland. Thinking about getting bubbles out of glass. Ah, well, um, the, you can do, they call it a bubble squeeze. And it's, you bring it up to a certain temp and leave it there for about an hour and it's supposed to, like, any air would kind of seep out. But with the nature of what we're doing with the frit, every single piece of glass has a layer of air around it. So the more tiny pieces of glass we have, the more air bubbles it's going to make. Um, so uh, bubbles with frit are unavoidable. So I plan on having them, and I want to make a little, like fairy baubles and galaxy pendants and all sorts of stuff that use the bubbles as um, design elements. Most of the time when bubbles you want to avoid is like whenever you're fusing two layers of glass together for making like a big bowl or plate or something. <laughs> right on, Patricia. Well, this one I'm going to be hoarding to myself um, just because it's one of the few things that I've kept for myself over the years. <clears throat> And it's a really nice kind of test house to see and make sure how things hold up. <laughs> oh yeah, we are doing a giveaway. In about 10 minutes, we're going to be giving away a craft along kit. So if you want to leave a comment on last week's live stream, Daniel, our very kind and generous and amazing moderator, uh, has just posted the link. So I'm going to try to, hmm, I'm going to be taking this and sculpting down into it to try to make a little bit of a lip where one thing will fit into another. Hmm. 
Daniel is amazing. <laughs> Can you make the bubbles out of resin? Um, <clears throat> you, uh, no. It's with the way we heat the kiln up to 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I don't think the resin would survive that. <laughs> hey, Suzette. I'm very excited about the kilns. Yes, precious metal clay for sure. Okay, so now that we've... And I can bake that. Almost like how whenever you're carving, car carving a pumpkin lid. And you make that notch, that way it'll fit. And I'm just trying to continue these lines down. Okay. And I'm just going to do a little mark on the inside. That way I know where the front is. So that'll be... Almost like taking a dental casting of the lid. Get all that unbaked clay off. Can you make, can you take resin and clay? Um, do you mean bake resin and clay? Um, it, I don't know. It depends on the clay, or on the uh, resin, rather. Because a lot of resins heat up when they cure. But I've had experiences with my uh, Art and Glow clear, clear Cast art resin, like all of them. All of them kind of warp and act a little funny if you bake it in with polymer clay. That and the smell it puts off. Well, the smell alone would have been enough for me to have never tried again. Oops. You have two polymer clay that bakes at different temperatures, but you mix them together. What do you do? I usually bake at the lower temperature, but for a little longer. Um, ooh, going to the resin bubbles, make tiny glass drops, water drops to add to the glass tabs. Ooh, that would be cool. And that way you can get a little bit more control. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what is up. I've been having like a flutter in my eardrum. It's not a bug. It's like a muscle spasm. Like the whole muscle. I just want to do a little bit of darkening down. This is really irking me having the camera in the way of my paintbrush. So we'll just sec to reposition this. Oh, really? I had to file and just use them right on. Yeah, getting those ends to meet up is pretty difficult. I've had ear spasms on it. They are. It's uh, it's just very. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, Randy's sitting in the. Um, I'm in my little polymer clay corner. So it really cuts off the sound transference. So like it's hard to hear Randy. And I think he, I don't know if he has a hard time hearing me. Definitely have a hard time hearing you. Okay. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me.
Ooh, chronic tinnitus. Uh, the wonders of life. <laughs> Okay, just getting a little bit on there and just trying to get a nice like antiquing. You sipping your lemon juice? <laughs> Hey, Ralph, how's it going? Yeah, it's you, you leave a comment on um, last week's video for the giveaway. We've got about four minutes. And just because we always have somebody ask, um, what we would do is if you went to, you're at my channel, you followed the link, and you click that. <clears throat> so you're at last week's video, and you'll scroll down. Comments. Add public comment, and you'll comment there. Down at the bottom. So, at least that's what it's like on my tablet. Um, so, hopefully that helps. This is what's possible. Uh, Which video did you leave your tablet on? What do you mean? Last week's or this week's? It was last week's, but now it's on this week's. Uh, have you ever worked with air dry clay? I have. Um, it, it shrank, and I really didn't expect that, even though it said to expect it on the packaging, and I really didn't like it. <laughs> like, I loved working with it, but I didn't like how it, um... <clears throat> Do what, love? You didn't like how it shrank? Yeah. Okay, so let me check one more time. There's our little line, so that's the front. Just checking for fit. Oh, and there's our other things dinged. I'm not gonna worry about filling that in too much. Now that that has sculpted, I'm going to on phones it has been changed to just under the video window. Ah, yeah. Fold it and roll. Uh, have you heard about the new cosplay? I can't wait to try it. I have not. Okay, I'm going to take this part to the toaster oven. <coughs> Excuse me. Not Rona, just allergies. Um, and I'm going to bake this, and then I'll be right back with those little mushroom butts. My coffee is getting cold. That's fine.
What are we looking for? Tripod. Okay. So that's how those came out. I have them sitting on top of our pasta machine cooling. And we are going to go have a giveaway right quick. I really hope my eardrum stops. Like it's, it's like every like 15 to 20 seconds it sounds like in my ear. I flicked my fingers on the mic. Okay. All right. If you're trying to make your hose drink, you're doing it. Let me grab. We are. We started at 77. We're up to 106. Ooh wee. That's pretty awesome. Yes, it is. So this week you are getting. Are we getting? Oh yeah, you gotta do the yep. Well, the thing. Okay. You gonna show them that? Yep. Alrighty. So over here we have compliments of Manaya. Thank you, Manaya. Our gum machine, where we get to choose, or we get random choosing of the. <clears throat> beads that will be in the giveaway. So we're going to turn it. Woo! Way to run her. Right. Yeah. Popped out. Ooh wee. Okay. Those are some pretty cool beads you guys. They're a little wonky, but that'll work. <laughs> yeah, they're freaking funny. So I'm going to put them in with one of our dud boxes, as well as a little super durable spool of 28 gauge titanium parawire. Oh, and I just threw the bead on. Am I having a stroke? Like, what is happening? Yeah. I think I have my pants on too tight or something. Like, I don't know. Okay, so we are at random comment picker. We went from 77 to 106. We're still at 106. Are we ready? Yeah. There we go. Got yes. the box. I got the box down. Okay, and click the button. Hopefully I'll be able to watch more. My work bought me a computer. Yeah. Well, awesome. <laughs> Congratulations, Allison. You are a winner, winner, chicken dinner. So if you will send us an email with where you would like for us to ship this to. There you go, baby. Uh, we will get that shipped off to you. Brooke E., we still have not shipped yours yet. We're going to be shipping out packages tomorrow. So speaking of packages, um... May's craft along kits have shipped. They were picked up yesterday. So those are on their way to you. <laughs> Congratulations, Allison. Um, and back to sculpting. Boop boop. Do 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 do. Oh, right on, Magic. Now we were quite low on stuff, so there's like an apology in the uh, craft along kits. Um, with the virus and everything. Um, right on, Tanya. Yeah, like our wire still hasn't shipped yet. Um, like hasn't gotten here, so. We were hoping to have like a really beefy package this month and it was just a bit skimpy 
So next month, we will have a seriously beefy package. New computer and now winning. What an awesome day. Right on. Okay, so these are all of our little mushroom butts. Ooh, quite warm. So I'm going to take them off of the tile because the tile holds heat like cray cray. Let's set that back. Cray cray. I will do that with the hydrogen peroxide after the stream, I think. This new polymer clay is totally flexible. Ooh. Very cool. <laughs> hey, Lola. Okay, mushroom butts. So how do we make a morel? Let me search real quick a morel reference image. So I tell y'all what, reference images will change your life. Okay, because we may just use a brown clay. Ooh. Okay, actually, I'm going to stick with the white clay, but then we're going to antique it after being baked. Though we could use a brown clay and then brush it with white as well. Um, so we have we have some different options. Not right this minute, if that's okay. I was gonna eat after the stream. Oh, Am I grouchy or something? Or... No, you're fine. Okay. I'm gonna eat now. Do it, babe. I was gonna eat some up for you if you wanted. Oh, you're very sweet. Okay, so I'm just globbing a bunch onto the end of our clay here and getting a little bit of a shape. Yeah, um, I don't know. I was in the garden and I think something got up my sleeve and bit me. Um, so it's healing up. It's still just a little itchy. <laughs> So I'm looking for, looking for adventure. There's my favorite brush. <laughs> Why am I like this? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be using the little stubby end of this. And I'm going to start at the tip. Just the tip. And it's going all the way around. I'm swishing little smushy holes. And I'm not minding that they aren't perfect at all. Like, I actually like it when they smush together like that. <laughs> Kiln's done. Self-destruct in 30 seconds. Um, nothing. It will stop beeping in a second, and then we will have the total fire time that I need to write down in our records. Please, part. we're not dying or anything. It's just our kiln. <laughs> Everything is fine. But I really like having a completed base to be able to sculpt our mushrooms on because now at least I don't have to worry about the base distorting or anything like that. So we've smushed our stuff. So we've got some smush going. Oh, I love being able to smush and twist. Oh, I love a good smush and twist. Oh, son of, I love this. I'm finished. Please don't panic. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to add just a little bit of poking down here at the base. 
Okay. So there's a... Does that look like a moral to you guys? I mean, I know what else it looks like to you guys. Lydia, oh, thank you. <laughs> Good. Thought it was my fire alarm. Oh, no. <laughs> But yeah, so there's a little memorial. Now, before we put it into bake, I am going to go ahead and add just a little bit magic sheen of glitter sparkle to our mushroom. Did I say mushroom? This is a morel mushroom. Yes, Randy. Why? I know it looks like a... <laughs> it doesn't look like anything. Well, thanks. <laughs> I'm now sad. <laughs> no, it's straight up, like... So that's the reference image I was looking at. It's not perfect, okay. but... It's stylized. I like those guys the better. On the stick. What? The peanuts on the stick. Yeah, kinda. Mmm, like my first morel. I'm a delicate flower, Randy. <laughs> um, <clears throat> best tip I can give with the mica powder is to dip into your your well and then tap it out into the lid and then very light loose brushing <clears throat> if that makes sense so like a tap get a bit on there and then you just tap it around and that'll just dis distribute it between the bristles But yeah, we're going to try antiquing this after it's been baked. Yes. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to set that one over there. Though I do think I prefer not more else. So let's do... I think that looks great. You should set a few dummies out in the forest for mushroom hunt. Oh no, Shepard is... <laughs> So I'm going to just have a round here. There we go. Just shaping our mushroom cap. Shaggy ink cap, right on. Looks like I can Google it. Okay, I'm gonna pull that up. I like to take the end of my paintbrush. Ooh. Hey, Randy, yeah. would you mind pulling that out for me? Sure. Thank you. Um, I think I put my oven mitt back. Oh. Who are you? I don't know. So yeah, we're going to use our bristle brush, or our wire brush, to make some really messy gills. Sam, you look haunted. He looks haunted? Yeah. Clearly they weren't talking about our house it was our house. <laughs> Thank you, honey. And now I'm going to use and do some slightly more like deep and detailed use makeup powder on my polymer kit earrings for first time today. Ah, right on Maria. It's a lot of fun and it's a great way to be able to use like one kind of base clay but make it look like a bunch of different things and get some really good good results. Hey honey. My ear is driving me crazy. Get your tongue out of here. Thank you. I feel much better now. <laughs> that 
was so fucking weird. Sorry, not to cut you. That was like, he didn't actually have his tongue in my ear. He just came up and made like weird noises in my ear. Teach me to complain. <laughs> Christy's like, be right back. <laughs> I've ever used water in my card paint mix and actual me beautiful ink. Ooh, right on, Lydia. I actually think I have a new favorite mica brush. Um, using a plastic clay knife to scratch the gills will cathartic. Ooh. Oh, there's my ear fluttering again. Um, do you use liquid Sculpey to bond them together? Sometimes. Sometimes I also just s smush them. Like this one, I just smushed it on. Oops. And it fell over. That's fine. No, it's... My, my ears are clean. It's a muscle spasm thing. It's like I get an eye twitch as well. And it's like I can feel the, the muscles around my eardrum spasming. Um, so there's that. We're going to put this one on this cap, I think. Yeah. And you can also super glue it. Super glue bonds really well. Hey, Sharon, we're having a real good day. And I kind of want to know what color should we do the top in? I was just going to kind of uh, antique it down a little bit. I know. I'm so boring. I'm going to try this. <laughs> I really like this metallic green. Ooh wee. Due to fluid behind the drum. Ah. Well, that's really good to know. Hmm. I have learned a thing this day. So yeah, just making kind of shiny up top, just a green tinge to it, because I'm hoping it will age down to match the rest of it. Did you learn that yeah, Metatron says I have the same problem. Right on. Mitch is actually, yeah, under the weather, um, we're putting her together a I Love and Miss You box. Just because, I mean, what else can we do in these times? Um, E6000 is the bomb diggity. Yeah, we need their Mitch. Okay. So there's that. Oh, are you going to taunt me with meatballs? Is it, it just, it. it's way too close to my face, just give me, <laughs> you're putting it in my eyeballs, Randy. You don't Randy. get it anymore, no. give it back. Ow. Oh, I feel it on me. Thank you, Randy. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so yummy. We made meatloaf. I made meatloaf last night. It's so yummy. Okay. Hey, little Sam dog. I've got my supervisor in the house. He's a good pupper. You're a real good pupper. Hmm. Hey, Randy. Do we super glue it after baking? Yeah. Okay. That's a good idea. 
So I'm just putting the mushroom cap over on the uh, tile. Hey little man, hey little man. My little love, my little booby boo. Ain't no lumps on me. There ain't no lumps on me. There's itchy rumps on some of your chumps. There ain't no lumps on me. He's a good boy. Yes, you are. He doesn't realize he's on camera. Otherwise, he wouldn't be hanging out with me. <laughs> but Sam Dog is so far still cancer free thanks to you guys helping us fund his removal of his big old lump. He's like, you had food, I saw you, I can smell it on your breath. <laughs> I love you, little buddy. I love you, little face in the blue. Let me get that chin. Oh, let me get that chin. Oh, that's a good chin. Oh, that's a good chin. It me good, 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 good. I love you so much. <laughs> ha. Video proof that you're a good dog. <laughs> Yeah, these are a little salt and pepper puppy. Go bother daddy. Okay, that's fair. You can stay. He's the goodest boy. He sure is. Yeah, that's we actually use Loctite uh, gel super glue. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he's just He's just watching me work. Now he's laying down. Okay, good boy. Oh, that was me tightening the tripod. I promise. <laughs> Simply after baking the loaf, adjusting the pieces in case something is too big or small. I, I think I think you're right, Jessica. That's a really good idea. Did you fart? No, that was me moving the tripod, like tightening the bolt. The auction is next Friday. I don't know next Friday. I think I don't know what day it is. So. Like, I don't know what Not day. this Friday, but the following Friday. Okay. What's the number that? 29th? On the 29th is our next auction. Which we will be having an assortment of mega jumbo crap boxes uh, up for bidding. Which we are very excited about. <laughs> Because we are finally decluttering our leather stash. So there's going to be boxes that have not just our regular crap box like resin duds and uh, mismatched beads and different things, but um, leather scraps as well. Okay, so this one will have, yeah. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, right on, Tracy. <laughs> so how do you get fluid out of your ear? There you go. Hooked on phonics. <laughs> All right, on Tracy. I'm really glad that you like them. Bye, pa hey Patty. I don't know if you're saying hey or bye. <laughs> I would be into leather scraps and resin duds. Right on. 
Yeah, and I didn't know if you guys would want them as mystery boxes or like, I don't know. Like we haven't quite figured that out yet. If we were going to do it as a mystery box or if we just open the top and you can see kind of the top assortment and give you an idea of what you're getting. I think we'll do that. Kind of a teaser. That's a really good idea. Um, and that was how, what we had talked about, wasn't it? Yeah. And it's Randy saying, and I, I think this is a good idea, is that we'll, it'll start as a mystery, and then whoever wins the box, um, like whoever wins the bid on it, will be able to decide if they want to us to open it for them on the, like on the stream, or if uh, they want it to stay a mystery until they open it. You want to next? my mother-in-law. All right on, Michelle. <laughs> right on. A decongestant. We've got some decongestants. Did you look at pictures or did you, in your mind? Um, I, I've looked at reference images, but a lot of it is to kind of, I don't want to get too tied up by what's real. Um, so I try to stick to the basic form of the mushroom from reference images, but from there, I just do what's in my head. Okay, so this next pack's going to be kind of big. How many do we have? One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So I need to make five more caps. Oh no. This is going to be a really long stream. Yeah, bio break for sure. <laughs> boobity, 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 boobity. <clears throat> No, it's, I think it's the, uh, it's behind the eardrum. I'll take, I have like an aloe vert. That's a nice decongestant. shaping it, trying to keep it relatively circular. I'm with Alice in Wonderland, like with the caterpillar smoking a water pipe. Yeah. Welcome back, Christy. Huh. Right on, Metatron. I'll try that. Because it's just a, it just drives me crazy. <laughs> Straight up cray cray. Hey, puppy. Okay. Right, Jim. You can grow regular white sage and clary sage in the same garden area. I've never grown clary sage, but I know that white sage likes really hot and dry. Like, I actually mix gravel into the soil for white sage. I've never grown clary sage, though. And where I am, I actually do the uh, white sage in pots because the winters will kill it. But it grew really well down in Texas. Like, that's actually the high school I went to. That's what they landscaped with. Do you remember what the high school we landscaped with? Over 
by the band hall where I waited for the bus. Yeah. It's White Sage. But yeah, that's the kind of crap that I remember. I can't remember my teacher's names, but I remember the plants. Oh, yeah? Ah, right on. Okay, so I'm having an idea, having some thoughts. So after we get that first layer of color, then I don't mind smushing it because the lines are still in there. But I'm thinking... I'm thinking that I'd like to go around um, the stems and go ahead and place the, um, what you call it, the mushroom stems and kind of decide where we're going to put what. That way I can know exactly how many caps I need. So I'm only going to be doing this with my low temperature hot glue gun, like my regular glue gun first. And then after it's all said and done, like I just need something to kind of tack it into place. So that's plugged in, heating up. And we'll do this guy. And that way I can shape the inner caps to whichever um, stem it's going to be going with pre-baking. gonna head out now i've got some art projects to get done today while i'm feeling inspired right on Alyssa. well happy crafting thank you for hanging out with us Amy says, hi Yvonne. Hey Amy, just wanted you to know I'm a big lover of your work. Aw, I just joined your Patreon. You're inspiring. Right on. Well, thank you so much, Amy. I'm glad, I'm glad you like our work. <laughs> I love the little, the little wobble. Cause I like the caps to look like little morning glory blooms. You hot yet? Do, 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 do. 
are y'all good with this camera angle or do you want me to turn it around a little bit better? Because well, I seem to be sticking relatively in frame, but I think I'm going to, I, it's going too well. Let's complicate it. Story of my life. Huh? You're extra sassy today, beautiful man that I love. What? Yeah. Okay. What am I getting? There's that tripod fart again. Poop, poop, poop. Ooh, maybe. Are you looking at memes, Randy? <laughs> okay, so Randy sent me a meme. It's more. It's like a Kylo Ren from Star Wars. More. <laughs> oh, that's very accurate. <laughs> You are sassy today. Well, it says, which powders were a little darker myself, but let's see after baking. I'm mostly just putting the powders on to give it a bit of tint. We're going to be doing a, probably a little bit of painting um, after it's all said and done. Though with the mica powders, I do prefer, um, if it, like, if I wanted this as a green mushroom crap, I would have used, crap, a green mushroom cap, um, I would have used a green base clay. I'm mostly doing this for that nice shimmery, sheen that is much more intense than what the camera's actually picking up on. Oh, probably. It's a Shula Ruin, or I don't know, something Gaelic that I mispronounce and butcher um, terribly. But I think they sing that in Lord of the Dance as well. Oh, that one's got a tear in it. Oh, this is working much better. Oh, I love that. How are you doing, heat gun? Are you hot yet? Ooh, we got flow. Okay. Let me paint this cap. Do what, Randy? What's your secret? You're always that's that's fair and accurate. But also, just with the whole aesthetic of this fairy house, I did want the um, the white of the cap to kind of show through. Because at night, anything that's pale like this shines pretty nicely. Um, did I already do? Yeah, I already did the bottom. And so I like leaving it kind of pale colored because it might not look as striking during the day, but at night it really comes to life. I had to wait to play the dirt. No. Ah, I saw that you had um, a new garden update, Jim. I can't wait to go and watch it. We will actually be doing some work in the garden today and then updating our vlog as well. Oh, fuzzy little mushroom. Okay. So, let's see. Assembly time. Let me cap guys off so that I don't 
spill them because that would be my luck. I like that one right there. Um, oh, here's the thingy. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so this is baked now, and there's our little notch. So that, that comes and just sits just about perfectly. And so that's like in there when it sits. Excellent. So now we'll be able to build the roof off of that. Perfect. I love it. For the roof? Yeah. Um, probably foil. This may actually end up being a multi-week stream. Mm. I need a piece of paper. Hey, Randy. Mm -hmm. Can I have a piece of paper? Have these for my... Oh, I will. Let me let me get these mushrooms. Okay, so this is a temporary thing, so I don't mind that it's gonna have paper stuck to it. I just need to test fit our garden here, and that way I can know which mushroom caps go to which posts. So I like that one. Do we want a little morel? Yes, we want a little morel. More morel. Ah, shoot. Well, I'll let that dry and then I can peel the stuff off of his butt. Um, the but the stems, but not this morel. I wasn't thinking. I got very excited. Oh, Lavender, I'm pretty sure there's somebody who watches our stuff who just thumbs down literally everything. But user engagement is user engagement. So even if all y'all went through and thumbs down the videos, that doesn't actually hurt Randy and I uh, through the channel. Like our videos might not be recommended as much, but for as little as duet love. Yeah, it shows engagement. It will make us show up in your feed less. Um, and our videos might not get recommended as much. But uh, quite frankly, with as little as what YouTube is paying us, I've given up. I don't care anymore. I just want to make videos and have fun. So if people don't like it, please thumbs down and go away. Because you don't have to be here. I'm just playing and wanted to hang out. So do it, love. Yeah, down about the shit out of it. Um, but it's... I have... Literally anything else I could do with my time other than trying to make people happy. So... I am going to make all of these guys nice and wobbly though, because I like that. Let's do some extreme wobbles. Oh, and then they click. Molly wobbles. Um, <laughs> right on, Lavender. If you're happy, you who matter are happy. Oh, Daniel, that's sweet. As I spent a lot of my time last year trying to bend over backwards to make people happy. And, um... That's a losing battle 100% of the time. Okay. Are you putting mushrooms outside of all the windows? Yeah, maybe. Okay. <laughs> well, that one's kind of short. Just, I don't know, it's art, Randy.
This one we're going to have to do kind of coming out of the side at a pretty extreme angle. Because after everything's said and done, um, the hot glue will be replaced by epoxy sculpt. Ha! <laughs> Magic says, now bend over forward so they can kiss your arse if they don't like it. Mm. That's a good idea. Sooner you do rig steps with the thumbs down. Are usually random trolls just going from stream to stream. It's not even personal. The better off they are. That's a very fair and valid point, Penny. Mushroom stew? Mushroom stew. <laughs> Mushroom stew actually sounds really good. I would, I would eat that. But then again, there's not a whole lot that I've ever met that I'm like, ooh. Um, I don't think so. Um, probably not. It's a chemical. It's not designed for being baked. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I just worry about fumes and flammability. Let's see, what does it say? Um, wear protective gloves when combining parts A and B. Wear dust mask and safety glasses when sanding cured product. Keep out of reach of children. Save for adults when use directed 24 hour full cure. Is required for hard finishing purposes, such as sanding, carving, drilling, machining, etc. Keep container sealed when not in use. Warning may cause allergic skin reaction, eye irritation, hazardous statement, H317 may cause an allergic skin reaction, causes eye irritation. Okay. Conforms to safety standards. It doesn't say no baking. It says no baking. Right there. Um, so I wouldn't bake it. The instructions say so. Hey, Bonnie, I will be. I'm just kind of test fitting. Um, like, I'm going to need to add, like, a whole segment of base over here. But I'm just test fitting um, <laughs> mushrooms. Oh, pinch. Add some little pinches. And this is one of the problems that I do have with this inexpensive um, basic Sculpey. Is it does like to crack and stuff sometimes like it's fine to sculpt with initially but then it starts getting wonky i actually may make a whole new polymer clay base for it that way we can add some crystals and stuff too okay yeah i think that'll be what we do and now None. Well, I have three extra stems. But we can use them another day. Three. Oh man, that hot glue really holds done it. There we go. Okay, so we'll bake that whole guy again. Cool beans. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, my battery is like almost dead completely. Ah, I'm at like 5%. Um, no, I don't want to stop streaming. Uh, Randy, I'm panicking. What do I do? Um, then, huh? I've got my charger. Everything's, woo, everything's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, I gotta pee now. <laughs> I'll be right back, you guys. Um, I am. I just, we'll, I'll be right back.
one thing ready. Yeah. I use the super long charging cord. Yeah. Are you using it? No. Okay. Okay. I am so sorry about that. Nature was hollering my name. Um, and I'm only at like 5% battery still, so we're going to come over here. Thank you, Andy. Oh, I was just going to have it plugged in uh, right there. Is that why you sounded bummed out? Is you yes. thought it was going to... No, we're not a hassle. Steal that. No. Okay. Why would I ever do that? Let's get this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Light blue. Um, I don't know if I'd call it epic, but that's kind of you. So, like, cranking up the tripod right here. I feel so much better, Lisa. <laughs> My eardrum's still freaking out, but I can handle that. We'll figure it out. Okay. So. Here's a chair. Calm down. Oh, I just swinging it around, too. Um, I gotta grab my tablet so I can see comments. Tablet's still at 65. So that's good. Alrighty. I can't oh sit in this God. chair. It's too tall. The three little feet don't reach the floor. So these are ceramic molds that we've lined with a boron nitride. Nitrite? It's called ZYP is the brand of the spray that we use. Yeah, you'll want to wash that off your hands though, babe. Thank you for unloading the kiln. This is our kiln. We are making fused glass. Okay. So now we should be able to just, whoop, they pop right out. <laughs> Could I ask you for Those look really good. a damp paper towel? Oh. Thank you. Maybe a shop towel? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Don't lick them yet, Daniel. But they're, they're pretty thick, but I like that. I like that. Oh, that is so, uh, I love it. Absolutely love, like, the... The bubbles and everything. <laughs> yeah, thickness for sure. Thank you, honey. That's perfect. Okay. But yeah, there we are. Does it have a hole or are you able to drill one? They These ones do not have holes. Um, you could drill one if you wanted to cold work it, but I wanted it to be like just a honk and chonk and huge cabochon. If you don't fill the mold quite as much. These are going to be for like costume pieces. Yeah, costume pieces, sun catchers. Um, this one's made with the same mold, but didn't fill it up, didn't fill it up as much. So we're just experimenting with how much Brit gets what kind of results. And these will be going out in June's craft along kits. Well, not those big ones. Yeah. For like our fifty dollar folks. I thought okay. You're gonna be burning this every day, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> well it's we should also have our kiln shelf by then too. So we we're we're doing we'll see. We're hoping. We'll see. That one's got a little sharp spot we might need to do some cold working on. There's another one. I'm gonna see if I can't move the tripod. <laughs> there we go. Oh, well thanks, Cindy. Okay, so now up next is this one. Yeah, it's getting time for me to clean some of these anyhow. Okay. Sometimes when they stick in, very carefully I come in and I just want to break that seal. I don't want to upset my mold. I just want to break that seal. And so some of them, like this one here, have um, 
Hey, Andy, in the north of England, right on. But how that kind of has that hole in it. And this one has matching earrings. And I rinse it off in the sink to get all the boron nitrite off. They usually have how many I probably should wear gloves. To fill the molds. Check up so that's fine. Yeah. But I also like experimenting with... Because sometimes I might want something that's a little bit thinner and irregular. There we go. Just enough to give it a little bit of a slip. We be wire wrapping. I, some of them, maybe. I was hoping to be able to send a lot of them out in our craft along kits to see what you guys can do with them. We did, Lydia. We uh, used a combination of um, deep purple, neo lavender, and clear frit. These are supposed to have dichro frit in them as well, um, but that hasn't arrived yet. It's on back order. So there's that one. I love it when they just fall out like that. Ooh, absolutely love this trillion shape. I know, doggy. Who's annoyed outside? Nope. Okay. Just very gently. The hush And if anybody has any tips on... There we go. How to do this. There we go. Because I do worry that I'm going to damage my molds. I'm being very careful, but uh, sometimes it gets a pebbly feel on the mild side. And I have to use a polish or wash away kill moss remover to get the residue off. Yeah, and that's we used the non-aerosol. I actually kind of like that texture on the back, though. Though I think next time we'll do the aerosol can because I hate having to clean out the uh, spray nozzle. I really like these ones. They're just, they're quite big, but... Coming in here. Whoa! And all those just fall right out. I love that. <laughs> and I think these are just so pretty. That's probably one of my favorite molds to fill. Because we get so many little... And I think these are much more... Just perfect wire wrapping size. Do you get a suction cup and suction them out so you don't jog the mold? Oh, that's a really good idea, Daniel. Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, my God, Jim. Everybody, Jim's really nice. Please just ignore him. <laughs> <laughs> mold side, it is more expensive, but I have switched to the aerosol zip because I love it smooth. Right on. Okay, I'll use a plastic spoon. <laughs> oh, Jim, I'm sorry you're stressed. <laughs> but yeah, there's some shameless promotion for our craft along kits. Uh, let me go wash my hands. That's a good question. Um, the last firing took, let's get this closed to keep the dog fur out of it. Ooh, actually, 15 minutes less than it did last time. It only took 19 hours and 45 minutes. So that's a slight improvement. Uh, very nice. Let me get this cranked up and I can show you guys our firing schedule. Also,
Our new torch arrived. This is Elsa. She ay, smells ay, funny. Ay. <laughs> Do what? Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. What's the name of Johnny Five? Hmm? Kind of uh, want to name it Johnny Five. Yeah, that would be it's the name. Alive. The movie is Short Circuit. Short Circuit, that's right. Well, where in the heck? Is this not the same? tool of an evil villain. It does a little. Uh, is it still in the scanner? My yeah. original? Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, can I, I have, have that back? So Randy scanned for me a whole bunch of, well, one, and then printed off a whole bunch of our firing schedules. Um, but I've been keeping very close track of our firing schedules, and I've been using just the same full few schedule on everything so far, and um, that's been working out pretty well. But the total firing time on the first one, I don't know, I fell asleep and we turned the kiln off uh, instead of letting it cool all the way. Worked out okay, but the second firing that we did was 20 hours and 9 minutes. Um, and then this was, let me write it down. I have lost my pencil again, seriously. I've lost like 30 pencils in two days. Here, Andy, can I have a pencil? Do you keep taking them and putting them away? No. I don't know where you're putting them. Me neither. Um, so this was complete. 19 hours, 45 minutes. Very cool. Very cool. So, yep. Um, plan on getting a boil glass set up. Hopefully seem tired of running out of gas in the middle of the bead. I'm right there with you, Suzette. It's for the money that we were spending on the map gas canisters for um, the hothead. I was like, we could have bought, this was only like a $200, but only. No, but comparatively, there are some torches that are like $3,000. So I was like, $200, that's it. Um, <laughs> but I'm very excited about this one. The reason why I went with this torch instead of... Oh, all the little gummy sticky stuff. It's off. Yeah, I need a new rested piece little all the grippy crap on the bottom there. Rest in peace, selfie stick head. Thank you, Randy. Um the reason why we went <clears throat> Yeah, it's all gone. I've been using that same one for like a year though. Yeah. Held up really well. Come on, chapa. Okay. <clears throat> the reason why I went with this torch instead of a major minor torch is, for one, I'm only really interested in torching beads. And for two, it has an adjustment point here. So I can angle that around. And then it has an adjustment point here so that I can turn it. So I'm very, very excited about having these points of control. Because, like, currently my hot head is, like, sh at, like, this angle. And just the heat coming off of it really gets me. So being able to angle it away. Oh, thank you, babe. Um, can I have the rubber top piece from the other one? Selfie stick head. Thank you. And these were from Propool, weren't they? Yep. <laughs> thank you, Propool. You gave us, like, a lifetime supply of these selfie stick heads. And I have to say, it changed our life. It's not been a lot. It is a short time, like the goldfish. Um, this blows fire out the end of it to make lamprey glass beads. Um, <laughs> you sent us ten. That was still that was a lot. Like, it's a decade's worth at this rate. Um, trying to keep up with comments. We're gonna do a little bit of just Q and A, hanging out with you guys. Right on. I will never buy a Kit Kat again. Oh, I missed something. <laughs> so while, oh, it keeps telling me low battery. Real quick before we go, because my, oh, yeah, my phone's dying. Randy says he still has plenty. Thank you though, Travis. Um, Bye, We. I need to figure out a good way to get video of making beads, because I got a little bit of footage and edited it and stuff. But it's so, like, blurry. I actually kind of stayed in frame the whole time. I was proud of that. Um, but 
it's so blurry like you can't tell what's going on so we'll see um Lori says so excited I signed up for monthly kits right on oh power monsters we need our Vaughn <laughs> it looks like the explosive space modulator from Looney Tunes I can see that it definitely looks like very futuristic though but I'm very pleased it's a mixed fuel so we're gonna have to get a tank of oxygen which is initially very expensive and then keeps being very expensive so <laughs> maybe but after stream ice cream party are expensive as the map gas yeah yeah, like a lot less expensive than the map gas. Um, what is that that you were holding? This is a Bethlehem Alpha torch for making glass beads. We were able to upgrade from our hothead. All right on, Christy. Keep commenting on all of our stuff, though. We give one away a week, so. Um, okay, so I think... Randy and I are going to go. We need to lay down that landscape fabric and get that mulch before it rains again. Yeah. Um, we, were, we were able to get a whole load of mulch, like 13 scoops of mulch from uh, the gentleman who does our grass. Um, has, like, has a tree service as well. And he came and just dropped off, like, 13 scoops of mulch. And I was like, that's amazing. <laughs> I haven't one yet. Everybody do keep commenting. Keep at it. <laughs> Oh yeah, we gotta get it done. It's supposed to rain for the next seven days according to the lie channel. But thank you, uh Oh my god, Jim. <laughs> um We're gonna go do some yard work. We will see y'all in our monster vlog and then again in Saturday's patron exclusive stream where we will be finishing up this fairy house. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Like seriously for everything. You guys enrich our life so thank you so much just for being you so we'll see ya and until next time y'all happy crafting making sure there's no more on that right on my head bye <laughs>